YFI Yearn Finance has popped on my radar for two reasons. One is that on the weekly, it is showing a very good trade setup that could lead to a lot of profits. Two being that its current price at $8,000 is an excellent price entry for a long-term hold strategy investment. So I'm gonna divide this video up into two parts. First part, they will focus more on trading this asset. The second part will focus more on investing in this for a longer term gain. Now, as usual, this video will be timestamped so that you can go to these sections quickly and immediately to find the information that you're looking for. Now for trading, I'm on the weekly chart. The first thing that I want to point out to you is this beautiful rounding shape that is forming on this bottom. Now, some people may call this a cup and handle type pattern. And I've seen a few live stream gurus that carry that a little bit overboard. Those of you who follow me on the channel and who do your homework know that price will rise up into a cup and handle and it will make a nice, very rounded shape over time. And therefore this one does not qualify. The price action is coming down from the top. That makes this just your typical rounding bottom or saucer shape which is this guy right here on the pattern side. A little bit of a different animal. Now, for trading this pattern, we want to look at this as being our bottom area right here, about $59,000, right at $6,000. We'll go ahead and just kind of mark that. And this price is making a falling wedge pattern. Now, this pattern, as we of course know, has about a 7 in 10 chance to break to the upside. And that's what we'll be looking for as far as trading. Now, notice this is only weekly. This is a very huge pattern, which would mean that this can result in some very huge moves. And that's why it's on my radar. So stepping back and taking a look at the overall picture on the bigger time, frames now we can zoom in to our smaller time frames and look for a more immediate trade on this pattern now when i zoom in i like to first come from the weekly down to the daily just to check it see if there's anything abnormal there everything still falls in line so from here we will quickly go down to the four hour and this is where we're going to base our trade is on the four hour time frame now the conservative method to trade this would be to wait for a breakout at this trend line right here so you would wait for price action to come back up, test this trend line, break out. The smart trader would wait for a retest, which on this pattern will occur about 62% of the time to come back and retest. Now this pattern could come up and retest like that, or it could be a small retest, but that would be the excellent time for a conservative entry to catch a move up to its measured move target of 13000 $209. Now, more advanced traders might like to try to catch it at the bottom price where it is right now, right around $8,000 in this area. Doing this allows you to place a tighter stop loss, which depending on how you're figuring out your trade position, could allow you to afford a bigger risk element. Doing the, this way gives you a higher risk to reward ratio. Therefore, you can have a much bigger position size without as much risk, being that you would stop out and lose little versus the potential gains that you could make moving up to this level at 13,000. A move from this area could gain you a profit just purely on spot trade of 64%. For those that are brave enough to do leverage at 10X, that would be a 640% gain. Bet that perks some ears up, didn't it? However, I will caution you that leverage trading is definitely not for beginners. And I would even go and say is it's probably not for intermediate traders either. It's very easy to get wrecked on leverage if you're not very cautious and stay on top of your trades. Caveat emptor on trading, right? Buyer beware. Know your risk. Do your homework and be a grown up about it. You can have very excellent results spot trading this. So don't feel that you're missing out by not using leverage. Some would argue that leverage is what's destroying the crypto market in the first place. Now, should this pattern fail, I've got the measured move for the breakout to the downside coming in at about $5,729 as a possible target, which would fit in very nicely with making a double bottom, which we'll get into on the investment part of this video. So again, just to reiterate, to play this long, you want to put your stop loss below the trend line. So stop loss is important here. You might get wicked out if they do decide to do a bear trap. However, it would save you if it does keep continuing down from losing even more. That's the beauty of stop losses. So in short, enter here, take profit at this area or anywhere along the way. Conservative traders, again, would enter on the breakout, possibly the retest, preferably do the same thing, take profit along the way. Same scenario would apply for those of you looking to short the market. You would wait for it to break market structure, wait for the retest. That's when you would take a short and then you would take profit down through these areas here. So I believe I've covered all the scenarios there other than just waiting for things to pop off. And that's where we'll start paying attention to indicators and volume. And that's exactly what we're going to look at now, just to kind of see what our probabilities are for any of those scenarios to play out. First thing I want to look at is for divergences. And on these last few candles here, we can see that our trend is going down. We can also see that on RSI, it is trending up. That is bullish divergence. That's what's given me the sign that we could expect a bounce from this lower trend line or even possibly before come up to retest this trend line. That move in itself or anyone getting in somewhere around 7,800 on up to its current price of 8,000, that move 
given loan, we give you a 12% increase. And at 10X leverage, that would be 120% gain. Again, I stress spot trading more than I do leverage. Leverage can, and will at some point, wreck you. Our moving averages, EMAs in our case, are widening out. That is an excellent opportunity when they widen out to converge together, meaning we get a move to the upside. And quickly before I forget, one of the biggest reasons that I think that we have upside from here is that we are retesting the 618 Fibonacci that is taken from the bottom point of here to our peak at this impulse move. Retesting the 618 Fibonacci, that is highly known to be a place for bounces. So we are looking for a bounce there. If it falls below that, we'll be looking for the downward side scenario. But things are looking Looking good that we will get a bounce there work our way to the upside now i've got market cipher pulled up we have the stochastic rsi and we can actually draw a trend line there if the price action will bounce off the 618 fibonacci level it should also be bouncing off of this area the stochastics at around 37 percent that's at the point where we should start looking at a green dot kind of forming somewhere but first we've got to see money flow kind of start ebbing back up and more importantly we've got to see this VWAP take a dive and start pointing back to the upside when that crosses this zero line that's when the green dot will be here that will be the official buy signal on the four hour chart now the MACD is showing some rejection it didn't actually get across on there on the four hour but it's been a little wishy-washy so this may go a little sideways before it actually crosses but we are still seeing a trend upward on the MACD, both on the moving average part and also on the histogram. So that also gives us three more instances of divergence playing out here, which indicates at least a strong move, a bounce off the 618 area, at least up to the trend line and more than likely a breakout above that to higher levels. So for the swing trader wishing to take advantage of this trade setup, I've got it right here. Stop loss below trend line or lower. Riskier and probably more advanced traders would be getting in now. Conservative traders would wait for a confirmation of the breakout or the retest. You could immediately take some profit at $10,637, which could give you about 18 up to 20% profit, just depending on the price that you get in after the breakout. And then of course our measure move to complete this trade would be at 13,209. And there is also the possibility of it going up to higher levels including up to $16,873 over time for a very nice swing trade and profit. There's also the option to sell this off into Bitcoin. This is an excellent one to trade against Bitcoin if you're trying to grow your Bitcoin stacks, which is the whole name of the game for me. All right, guys, that's what I've got. This is your trade setup. Take a picture of it, screenshot it, whatever you want to do. Try to apply it to your own charts. This chart is being constructed on the four hour on Binance US. Apply this principle to whatever chart and whatever exchange that you are trading. Now let's take a deeper look at YFI for investing. One of the metrics that appealed to me with YFI, your finance for investing purposes, is its limited supply under 37,000 coins. But look at the price history. This one took over by storm after the pandemic. This coin went from hardly anything up to $40,000 and caught everybody's attention. And it came back, tested around about 9,000, topped out again above $80,000. It didn't do as well in the second peak with Bitcoin in September and only got back up to $40,000. But you can see the intense range that we've got. During this whole drop that we had, it actually got down to as low as around $4,400. So if you'd caught that, you'd already made two X. You'd already have a moon bag. Right now is a good opportunity to get another moon bag. And let me explain why. This pattern is in a humongous falling wedge. Now it is steep, so we don't expect it to play out as beautifully as as more of the more shallow ones, but it will still play out. Now it does have a tendency to do a retest. Now this could possibly be the retest here and we're just trading sideways and getting ready to pop out. And that looks like that is the current situation. And if that's the current situation, we have to ask ourselves, will it just come up and retest this trend line, form a double top and come back down to make another double bottom during this whole bear market? And that is definitely a very real possibility. So investors can get in and just hold and hodl, you know, until the next bull run, or you could actually take profits as we start getting up closer to the $12,000 range and just wait till it drops. You could dollar cost average as it goes below the point. I would set this point if I were getting in, and this is actually my play on this. I'm starting to pick up now at the point it's at, and for a long-term investment, I will be stacking orders, pyramiding them up from this bottom around $5,000. Larger orders here, smaller order, smaller order, smaller order, 
as I stack up and catching this as we finally come back and retest this. The reason that I think that we will come back and retest this other than what I'm seeing on the charts in the current price action is that this is also another major level. We did below our weekly support here. We're going to have to come back and retest that, okay, just to solidify it before actually making some heavy moves up. So I think this is an excellent one that you can, as an investor, take your time in, maybe get your feet a little bit wet now and take advantage of the move that may more than likely be incoming over the next month or so. And as we continue into this long drawn out bear market cycle trading sideways, I do foresee a very good possibility of us coming down and retesting these lower levels, which would be excellent times to buy bigger positions for a bigger upward gain when the bull market comes back into play. Now, just judging by the Ichimoku cloud, this could be into next year before we actually start getting into these upper levels of above 12, 13,000. Quite possible to wick up through this area, you know, and, and that's what we're looking at as traders, but as investors, we're looking at the bigger picture here. We want to start thinking about taking our profits when we start getting up into these levels around 36, 37,000, and the possibility that we will come up and retest the 618 monthly level just right under $60,000. That's actually the target that I'm looking for on my long-term holds. Now, if you look on the weekly chart, you'll see that our stochastics have bounced from the top, so they are coming back down. They do not necessarily have to come all the way back down to the zero point, but that is a very real possibility. We'll have to watch this on the weekly time frame, but that gives us the indication that some downward motion will be into play into the future. In the immediate term, it may not be as apparent, and that's why I have a trade set up, but for long-term investment, it's saying we've got a big chance to come down to these lower areas over time. There's no noticeable divergence on the RSI. The RSI is actually is coming in at 37 at the levels right now. So very possible that the RSI will come back down to retest these areas about 30%. However, we could have a stumbling block right here in about 35%. MACD is looking a little bullish. However, we're getting a little bit of rounding. So it's kind of indicating some sideways action and possibly a little bit of down action. Just kind of see it. That doesn't look extremely bearish, but I would probably expect something along the lines of this slowly moving up in histogram to just kind of pull something like this you know this is weeks this is as we go into the new year we want to keep an eye on this as far as investing goes so for the savvy investor this is what i've got laid out here daily support 42 200 weekly support coming at 5400 got another daily support coming at seventy two thousand seventy four dollars and of course we are at the 618 retracement level which could get a bounce right here at eight thousand dollars ish right so dca would be the pyramid or to layer in from this level right here putting our biggest orders down here to the bottom smallest orders up here toward the top and then as price action comes in we're automatically dcaing in for the best entry and as we come out of it we start getting into our profits. I hope the information in this video has been helpful to you. I like to present this one because this one for anyone that's just now getting into crypto or something, it's going to be hard to mess this up. If you were to try to trade this on spot and say the price dumps, you can still buy some more as the price comes back down to test these lower levels or wait for it to bounce off of these levels. And you can straighten that out. This will come back. You turn the up failed trade into a long-term investment. So for anyone new, this is a great one to get your feet wet in. If you like the content in this video, please hit the like and subscribe. Consider joining the channel. Please remember we do have the Crypto Chart School to teach you how to do exactly what I do on screen when I analyze the market. Until next time, my name is Lane, your Crypto Road Dog, wishing you the best in your trades. Be blessed and always remember, you got this baby.